if you've got an issue with the snare not snapping through or not popping through, ideally go back to the mix stage. It's gonna be really difficult to get it to pop out a little bit, but there are some things you can do. And we can add a second EQ on here, can't we? We can. So let's add another EQ and I will bring it down just before the maximizer. One thing you can do to isolate something like that out is use mid side, right? So I'm just going to use EQ2 here. We'll go to mid side and we're just going to solo out the mids. It's basically going to give us a mono mix. Oop. That just went to plus 8 dB. So I hope my stream compressor saved your ears. Um, so we just leave that in mid. What we can do in mid is find where that snare is going to live, right? We got our frequency analyzer. I can see here that that's going to be my snare body, right? I could just go in the mid, like a narrow boost. Boost that right up. That's going to make, I mean, the snare sticks out pretty well in this already. There's space for it. And that's just going to help it really pop out. I would rather not do that, but if you needed to, it's an option. Now, in even just that, like, subtle boost makes a difference. Now with Ozone 11, we can take that kind of a step further if you've got advanced, because we've got the stem options. Switch that back like that. Another thing you could do is put in, where is Dynamics? So once you've done that little boost like that, in Dynamics, you could do a really tight, again, go mid-side, so go on your sides and take your compressor off. It's almost like the opposite of DSing. Go in and find the snare body that you want to cut through. Press that super hard. Bring that right down. Give it a bunch of gain back in. Stick out that way as well. That's now excessively loud, right? Of the snare, anyway, to prove my point, you can find it and lift it out. But since we have the option with ozone 11, I'm going to put another ozone before this one. Ozone 11, add another one in. We've got our chain there, and then we should have a blank one before it. What we can do here is grab the percussion, literally focus on the percussion stems. We could manually tackle just drums this way. And we could literally do that same kind of boost. Go in a little bit harder, just the drums themselves. Try and make it stand out that way. Now you can hear it's taken pretty much everything else away. Mid side it again as well off on the sides, go back to the mid, really like narrow it in on what we want to control, so it's like 3 dB again, ideally I'd set uh, ratios and attack and release and everything a little bit better. Now we're focusing on just the drums, we've given a boost to our snare in just the area of the snare. We're compressing just that area and lifting that section up. And we're doing that on just the drums. Um, you could really go ham with this and put another chain in and do say the exciter. Do a split band with the exciter and find the snappiness of the snare. It's probably right around there, yeah? somewhere between one and three K. Just spank that with some saturation. All right, how hard's that snare hitting now? Now context of the whole track. That's actually quite nice, right? Proof of concept, we're gonna bypass this. It's just affecting the drums and all that snare saturation. 
actually nice. I've done, I've way overdone it, but the snare is going to properly snap through when we when we switch this back on. Yeah. And that was without even really tr like tweaking any of the, the settings. If we did tape, tape had loads of like high end and hiss. Up a bit. Now there's loads and loads and loads of snare. You need Ozone 11 Advanced to get this kind of like level, but it's doable. It's doable. And it's just ridiculous how deep you can actually go with this now. You know, obviously, I've just put what three and then nine plugins all together to get to that point. And we're focusing on the drums and stuff you shouldn't be able to do in the master, but you can now. Um, but yeah, that's the way I'd probably tackle it. And like what we've done there is actually kind of nice. I kind of like the result, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I would spend a bit more time tweaking it and I would dial it back. It's a little harsh for me. I imagine if we switch game match off, that snare's actually gonna blow my eyelids off. Let's find out. Three, two, one. I like it, I don't know why. I'd even be inclined to start taking it in that direction, even though it seemed like there was plenty of snare. Uh, sweet. So that's that's that. Any more quesies? If there is, I'll stay on for a bit. And if there's not, I will let it roll out. Most welcome, Mo. Thank you very much for watching. I don't do the please subscribe and smash the like button stuff generally. I just, uh, the reason my channel's grown so damn slow, I'm pretty sure. I can't be bothered to beg people for likes. I like to come in, try and drop something of use, and then get off. to make some more hard DMB tunes. I've not done anything that's not soulful DMB for ages. Sweet, if that's all guys, thank you very much for tuning in. And I will see you on the next one. Um, if you can be around later, I might jump on and just have a look at some of my old tunes. It's just fun to listen back to them. I thought I might share some of it with you guys listen to what I was making some 15 years ago. Now one sec, I'll find you the link for the track. Let's see if I can do it before the track finishes. Uh, when did it come out? God. There it is. 16 forever ago. Yeah.
right. Wait. Peace. See you guys later.